All right, good morning, everyone. So glad you're here this morning um, or afternoon or whatever, right? Look, I want to talk about um, something that I read in Deuteronomy 5. But before I jump into that, I just have to mention kind of the context about what's happening here. And, you know, this is at the point where they're really getting a lot of the law and the teaching of Moses before he dies and before they enter the promised land. And let me tell you something. They made a ton of mistakes. They, I Look, don't even call them mistakes. They did a bunch of things blatantly wrong. They sinned against God over and over again. They had um, many times just fully rebelled against God. And he led them through all of that. And then they get to this point where they're really, God is revealing himself to them. And they come to uh, Moses and they say, basically, hey, can you go to God and can you talk to him on our behalf? Okay. They say this, this is Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 27. You go near and hear all that the Lord our God may say and tell us that the Lord our God says to you and we will hear and do it. Okay. Now that might sound like a cop out, um, but listen to how the Lord responds. Verse 28 says, Then the Lord heard the word of your words when you spoke to me. And the Lord said to me, I have heard the voice of of the words of this people, which they have spoken to you. They are right in all that they have spoken. That's, it's a surprise. I'm just going to say that. Watching so many things go wrong. Watching these guys, our people, guys, gals, watching this nation flounder and flounder and not respecting the authority of God, not paying attention to what he's telling them, you know, and finally, like, they get it right. But notice what God says in the very next verse, okay? And I think this is the important part. And this is the thing that them getting it right, that's great, but this is really the, the part to focus in on he, he says, this is verse 29 of Deuteronomy 5. Oh, that they had such a heart in them that they would fear me and always keep my commandments. That it might be well with them and with their children forever. Okay, so this is, this is basically what he's saying. He's saying, what they just said their heart was right they had uh, a desire to do, do my co commandments to fear me and he just said if they had this heart always it would be well with them and with their children forever now i am just going to um say this right out okay because i think it needs to be said most of the problems that people face in their daily lives, maybe even not most, but a lot of the problems that people face are the result, the direct result of their sin. Okay? We get into trouble and we commit sin that causes all sorts of trouble in our lives. Look, the wages of sin is death. That's what the New Testament says. There's so many things that we see where when you see this, the ripple effect of sin, man, it goes on and on and on. You know, don't be deceived. God is not mocked. You will reap what you have sown. There's so many things, so many warnings in the scripture against sin. Jesus saying, hey, take it seriously. And he says, look, if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off. And obviously, that's not the problem, right? But 
the point is that we need to be very serious about our sin and most of the trouble that we get into is a ref uh, result of our sin now not all there's the enemy attacks us there's spiritual warfare the world there's so many other things too excuse me so many other things going on that affect us but i'm i'm just telling you when it comes to your spiritual walk to the issues that are really important the number one thing that really gets in and messes all of that up is sin and the lord here is basically saying man if these people just had this heart to walk in fear of me and to keep my commandments and then it says they it might be well with them and their children forever that's that's a big thing that is a big thing and you know for us i think if we want to if we want to get this right what we need to do is we need to have this heart a heart that that walks in reverence and fear of god that that understands who he is and who we are and one that desires to keep his commandments to walk in obedience these are the things these are like the very very basic things for us and I want it to be well. I want it to be well with me and my children. I, I hope that they've seen a person living their life that way, that honors God and respects him and fears him. I hope they understand that just from observing my life. I, I shouldn't have to actually explain it to them. They should, they should understand it because they've watched me, right? And... I'm not saying I'm not going to explain it to him, but I am saying I hope that my life is crystal clear, lived for the Lord. Now, on top of all of that, you know, we're looking at eternity. We're looking at life um, with God forever. And man, that is such a huge thing. We cannot um, forget that our time's going to be up here. And then this chapter of life is done. And the next chapter is so great, you know. So today is the day for us to walk in obedience, for us to walk knowing who God is and knowing who we are, to walk in reverence and fear of him, knowing that he has all authority. And today is the day for us really to once again live it out walk the walk that god has put before us stay on that path of righteousness and glorify him throughout our day so i hope that blesses you i hope that gives you something to think about um and god bless you i'll see you tomorrow